is just gonna throw right, her Nikita. off stage. Gonna be able to make it back now. Pocketed through net? You could do that? I didn't even know that. Uh, okay. That's cool. That's new. Okay. That's good to know. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. oh. Hey, what is up, guys? In today's video, I wanna talk a bit about how Smash Ultimate is still volatile. I want to talk about this because I don't want you guys to have so much pressure on yourself and beat yourself up every time you lose a match online to whichever character but even like to those Ganondorfs and DDDs especially because they could totally cheese you out but just in general like every character has you know these ways of winning that make the game very volatile. So let's talk a bit about how and why it's still volatile. A lot of people don't want to admit that Smash Ultimate is volatile because they're saying it's so much better than Smash 4. And I totally agree. I think it's such a better game than Smash 4, but be realistic and understand that the game is still volatile. We have three stocks, but there is rage that's still in the game. And there's so many better and stronger moves to come with it and there's so many more characters now and there's so many more matchups to learn so like with rage even though we don't see those ladder combos killing at like really really early percents we do see kills happening earlier uh with high rage like you'll get kills like 20 to 30 percent earlier which is huge especially when they get the kill first and then you have to work so much harder to kill them because you're doing it without rage so they kind of got 20 to 30 percent free now you need to get that yourself so you could kill them because you don't have the rage there's also a lot of new KO punches in this game. And what I mean by KO punches, I don't just mean little Max KO punch. I mean Ganondorf F Smash. I mean Charizard Flare Blitz. I mean Zelda Forward Air. All that stuff are going to kill you insanely, insanely early. And even though we have three stocks now instead of two, one stock is huge. And if you lose a stock at like 50%, then you're working the whole way to get that back. And this game, the, the skill gap isn't very wide like armada could four stock me in melee like a million times in a row but in ultimate like even a top player can't really consistently three stock me so the skill gap isn't very wide so you can't play perfectly and it's gonna happen that you're gonna get hit by these dorias and flare blitzes and lightning kicks and whatever whatever so because you can't play perfectly and because of all these KO punches and stuff like that, it is hard to be extremely consistent and that definitely makes the game volatile. He has three purple. Oh, they at least. Distribute your weight equally between both legs. There you go. All right, we get the sweet trio. I'm bad, I'm bad. No, I meant to pull him. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. Ah, I... So don't beat yourself up if you can't, you know, win every time. It's it's very, very hard to win every time. And this isn't just with Wi-Fi. Like, I see this a lot online. It's so easy to lose to, like, a DDD, whatever. But even offline, like, at Gommel, I see people money matching MVD. And, you know, he's a world-class player. And there's people money matching him who don't even place even close to where he does. But each and every one of them were, like, taking games off MVD. And uh, it was funny because it was like, you know, the Dark Samus would play him and take a game. And then the Joker would play him and take a game. And, like, all these people lining up. Like, I know they know that snake matchup. Like, I know that's why they're money matching him. But he has to learn every single matchup on the fly. Like, there's so many matchups to know and you forget some of this and then you experience it again and there's so many matchups to master you can't win every time like it's very hard um and even with three stocks i'm not saying it should be four stocks it's just it's just the nature of the game you know take every loss with a grain of salt a loss doesn't mean you're better or they're better it's just what happened in that game that the buttons you pressed versus the buttons they pressed that sequence of buttons, you know, it just didn't work in your favor. Keep in mind, Smash Ultimate is still volatile, and I don't want you guys beating yourself up for losing, because I know a lot of people can't bear to lose against all these DDDs and Ganondorfs, but let me tell you my golden saying that I always tell myself is that mastering this game means losing to DDDs and Ganondorfs 
again and again and again. And one day you'll wake up, I promise you, and you'll just start beating them a bit more than you did before. I hope that was amazing. But it might have not been. So anyway, uh, you get the idea now. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that DK thumbs up and spank that subscribe button if you haven't already. Have a swell evening, guys, and I'll see you next time.